So it's not really unknown for Call of Duty to send out surveys to the players in their emails associated with their Call of Duty.com accounts. It's been done many times in the past before and yesterday Call of Duty and Activision sent one out and usually I would not make a video about this. However, some of the questions that were asked do kind of line up with the recent leaks regarding Call of Duty Black Ops 4. But the crazy slash odd thing about this survey is when you first start, you have to accept a non-disclosure, meaning you are not allowed to spill the contents of this survey to anyone it must be strictly confidential now the reason why I heard about this survey is over on reddit and Twitter I'm gonna link the reddit post down below and I did see this over on Twitter from FPS 24 7 shout out to you guys definitely go check out his pages now you may be saying to yourself reverts why are you posting a video about something that's strictly confidential and cannot be made public well I myself did not accept or sign any NDAs I did not even receive an email or complete any surveys whatsoever the only reason why I know about this and some of the questions is because I saw them online uh, but I know this was not meant to be made public so I am not going to show any of the questions instead I think I'm gonna be talking about a few of them that do kind of pique my interest if you will and uh, do talk about the future of potentially World War 2 and also Black Ops 4 so let's go ahead and get started first off most of the questions do kind of pertain to supply drop content and just the different types of customization you can do but we're not just talking about camos weapon charms that kind of stuff we're talking about customization that lets you change the effects when you shoot your gun and then there's also a question about customizing your kill cam so maybe you can have like a little banner or a frame with a message or some kind of a cool image whenever someone watches your kill cam they can see that and then there's also something about kill streak customization which uh, we did see back in infinite warfare with the uh, kill streak variants basically I'd say a good majority of these questions pertain to supply job content but there's also one question that wants you to pick one item you would like to see in common supply job specifically and these items are stuff ranging from character voice lines to entirely new weapons to perks that don't exist in the creative class menu a lot of these ideas that Activision has sounds pretty cool like voiceover lines esport themes stat resets for a single match but then here's where it gets to be pay to win the ability to apply additional weapon attachments over the maximum limit and then perks that don't even exist in the create a class menu these were two options that players could choose from on the survey and then the additional weapons that have entirely different gameplay from the base weapons all of these items are pay to win they're the definition of pay to win and I cannot imagine anyone that would pick these items seriously they are completely ridiculous and I really do hope that this isn't what's to come in the future for Call of Duty you know at this point I love COD I really do I still have a lot of faith and passion in this series but I think some big changes need to be made like whether it's maybe a new game every other three years or so or two years or maybe add another developing studio to come in and have maybe a four dev team cycle I don't know but it just really seems like the three year cycle we have really isn't working out that well like three years is a really really long time to make a game and the best you can come up with is making your game similar to overwatch heck you even you even cut out campaign to focus on multiplayer and this is the best you come up with honestly I think a lot of change needs to be done here I like the fact that they're coming out with surveys and that kind of stuff but still I think more needs to be done here like I feel the best thing Activision should do is pull together as many youtubers loyal cod fans even some of the original players and all developing team and hold this one giant conference and figure out what would be the best thing for cod to do what what could they do to make COD even better? So if you want to go check out some more information and even a website article talking about this, I'll have it down below for you guys. Also again, when you first start, you have to accept a non-disclosure agreement. I did not receive the email or the survey, so I didn't sign anything. But still, I feel this needs to be addressed because this was some of the ideas that Activision had thought of before making this survey. Black Ops 4 is right around the corner, and I really cannot wait to see what's going to be happening with this game. We got less than a month before the official reveal comes out and yeah some very crazy times we're in right now as a cod fan tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments guys also drop a like if you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching until next time i'll see you later